In this video, I'll show you how to use Switch Joy-Con on PC to get gyro motion controls in any game using the program Rewast. In my experience, both official and third-party Joy-Con work. Just make sure any third-party Joy-Con you want to use has wireless support. For example, the very popular Hori Splitpad Pro has no wireless and no gyro. You'll need a Bluetooth adapter, either one already inside your computer or an external USB adapter like this. Go to rewsd.com and download and install Rewast. Rewast is an input remapping software that will allow us to use the Joy-Con on PC and map the gyro. It is a paid software, but they do have a free trial, so you could just download it and check it out. Once that's done, open up your Bluetooth settings in Windows. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled, and then click Add Bluetooth or Other Devices. Now on your Joy-Con, Remove any grip or wrist strap attachment, and then press in and hold the pairing button. Once the lights are flashing and moving around, it's in pairing mode. After that, you'll see it show up in this list, Joy-Con L meaning left, R for right. Just click it and it'll pair with the PC. Now, do the same for the other one. Now open Rewast, and on the bottom left side you'll see your devices. The Joy-Con should be showing up here as two different controllers, so we'll need to group them together to use them both at the same time. Click the Group button here, and then choose the Joy-Con side you want to use Gyro on first, and the other Joy-Con second. I'm right-handed, so I choose Joy-Con R and the Joy-Con L. Click Save, and then this group will be created and you can close this window. Back on the main screen, your Joy-Con group will show up in the Devices list, Click it, and now it'll be the selected device. Now you can use the top right drop down menu to create a config or select one you've already made or downloaded. When creating your own config, you can bind any button on either side of the Joy Con to whatever keyboard, mouse, or gamepad input you want, as well as rewashed commands. You can quickly bind the left stick to WASD movement by using shortcut buttons like this. To enable gyro on a config, click the gyro icon in the middle, and then you can quickly map it to the mouse or any of these other options. Once you've done that, click apply and the Joy-Con's gyro will start working immediately. To map a specific button to disable or re-enable the gyro for recentering, select a button and bind it to the command toggle gyro on off. If instead you'd like to hold a button to disable or enable gyro, a technique called ratcheting, use the start press and release press activators and map them to toggle gyro on off. Keep in mind that by default, Rewast sets the gyro left-right axis to Roll and not Yaw. To switch this, go to Preferences and then Gamepads and change the gyro steering axis to Yaw. This will make the gyro behavior more like a pointer. To use your Joy-Con as just a regular gamepad for controller-style games, Select the Switch to Xbox 360 config from the Config Selector menu. You can change which controller it's emulating from the Virtual Controller menu. This is great for playing gamepad-style games in the more comfortable split controller configuration. To download user-made config files, check out the Rewazd community sharing site and search user configs. You can even filter by gyro support. However, keep in mind that most of these were made for more traditional controllers like the DualShock, but Rewast will adapt them to the Joy-Con. You can also download my gyro configs from the descriptions of the videos on this channel. When downloading a config file, just open it using Rewast and from there you can add it to your collection. If you don't want to use Rewast, check out the Joyshock Mapper project on GitHub. 
It's a powerful input remapper that you can use to get Joy-Con Gyro working on PC. However, keep in mind it's not as user friendly and it's mostly text file config based since it has no user interface. If you need more help with Rewashed, check out their online guide at help.rewashed.com. And that's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.